Today I'm going to show how to build the Hooverman antenna. On the wall I have the Hooverman that I built, and uh, it turns out it receives every digital TV station in San Diego County. And that's better than any of the other five Hooverman, and, or uh, five antennas that I bought. I bought five different antennas, and this one outperforms them all. And so that means the Hooverman antenna, this, this is one design of the Hooverman antenna. There's several of them. This one doesn't have a shield on it. And the reason for not having the shield on it is I have stations in both directions. And with the shield, you'd only get the stations in one direction. And so that's the basic uh, Hoover antenna. The Hooverman antenna that I built consists of 16 different parts. There's 12 parts that are 171.4 centimeters long, and there's four parts at the end that are 180 millimeters long. And so in order to solder the pieces together, you simply put them in the templates, and uh, I put in a uh, 12 gauge piece of wire into the into the center and line them up and uh, just take your soldering iron and solder them that's all there is to it and that's how you do the the uh, zigzag pieces Doing the end pieces on the Hoover antenna is about the same thing. You just uh, take the the jig for the end pieces and shove in the shove in the uh, 12 gauge wire and uh, line them up, and uh, that's all there is to it. Again, you just come in with a soldering iron and solder them. And so uh, that's how you put on the four end pieces for the uh, Hooverman antenna. So now I'm going to show you the templates uh, for the 3D printer. These are uh, input files to the Gmesh program. And so the first one here is the cap down. And if we open it with Gmesh, so this is where the, the cross piece and the, the, the uh, lower piece on the uh, template, uh, the lower piece for the cross pieces, and here's the 90 degree one, and this goes with the, uh, the cross piece that holds the end cap on, the, the four end pieces on, and uh, Here's the, uh, okay, so here's the final cross pieces that hold the antenna. So these are the uh, four pieces that hold the antenna uh, once it's completed. And um, 90, 45, okay, this, this one. Okay, so this is the one for putting on the four end pieces. You just put the, uh, quarter inch tubing in and line them up and solder it with this piece. And the 90 degree piece. The 90 degree piece is the one that you use for doing the zigzags. And so now if I save one of the, doing the zigzags. And so I'll, I'll, I'll stop here and pick it up later, pick up uh, more details later. Okay, so here we are back in Gmesh with the piece that's used to create the zigzag pattern, uh, the, the 3D piece. And so we'll fill in the piece. So that's got it filled in. And we'll export it as an XTL, STL file. So we just go to export. Tell it that we want to export a STL file. Save. And we want to save all elements in ASCII format, and that's okay. And so we've saved the uh, template for the, the 3D 
and now we'll take it into Altimaker, which is the program that actually creates the files for the 3D printer. And uh, there's Altimaker. And there's the piece in Altimaker. And you just, uh, <clears throat> so I made it tough green, uh, natural PVA. I want to do two millimeters, and that's OK. Uh, so we just say slice. And it slices it, and it says it'll take an hour and 30 minutes to do it. And if we do a preview, it shows how it's it's uh, set up so you can go through the various layers with the the key over here so it shows how it's how it's actually making that piece for the 3d zigzag section uh, save to disk and you just save this is the UFP file that is actually used by the 3d printer to create the piece and that's basically all there is to it so that's uh, creating the piece, doing the 3D printer part. Okay, and here we have the completed Hooverman antenna, and it has the adapter to go to, uh, to the 70 ohm cable that leads to your TV on it, soldered between the middle two sections, and then it's just got the four plastic sections holding together. And it turns out that uh, at this location on the wall, it receives all 69 local TV stations, but three inches lower, it only received 64 stations. So you lost four stations by moving it. Uh, move it four inches down, you have uh, five less stations. And um, anyway, this, uh, this Hooverman antenna, the one I particularly chose, gets all the local stations. And it's better than the, the five other antennas that I tried and bought. And it's a lot cheaper, although it took about uh, two days to solder it and put it all together. And so there you have it, the Hoover antenna for receiving over-the-air TV stations.